Okay, welcome everyone to this Sunday School webinar. And as always, we welcome all the newcomers who have never been here before. You're especially welcome. What we do here on Sundays is we have 30, 40 minutes of motivational, inspirational, and um, some new thoughts, a new way of thinking. And we talk a lot about personal development, of course, because that's the only way to get what you want. That is, if you don't already have everything you want, then you don't have to change. But if you don't have everything you want, you got to change. Because if things got to change for you, you got to change. Okay, guys, uh, let's get right into this. Today I will combine a couple of things. You know, remember we had some technical difficulties a couple of weeks ago with no slides. I hope we have slides today. Um, I have slides here, so let's get into them. And I will do a combined thing here so we, 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 we can learn to know how to change, why to change. Not only that because we need stuff, but only the purpose and um also i will make a couple of examples here that we missed that that time when we didn't have any slides so i'll talk a little bit about keys uh, to leadership so number one key for leadership and why are we talking about leadership you hear me talk about it all the time and some people think well i'm not a leader i don't know if that's for me and i'm saying yes it is for you because you're leading yourself if you're not leading anyone you're leading yourself so you are a leader you're leading someone and then hopefully you will lead other people you are here for a purpose you're here to lead other people because everyone is born to succeed you remember we talked about that never forget it and Number one purpose for leadership is your vision, because vision it's, is where, uh, you know, everything lies for you, but also for the group you're leading, because you have a vision you're taking. So a question you should ask yourself, if you're leading people, where are you leading them? Are you leading them astray or are you leading them the right way? Are you giving them the right information or the wrong information? And so purpose is so important because everyone's got to have a purpose. You know, we talk about finding our why, but purpose could be broader than that. But number one key to leadership is purpose. I will go through here first and then we wrap it up. Number two is the second P of leadership is potential. And that means your ability. So you see, your vision is your goals, you know, where you're going, you know, the future. And, and where people don't have a vision, they're going to perish and die, it says. So we all need a vision. We all need something for the future and something we can work towards. They make us feel good, you know, not that is important because feelings is a product of what we think, but you know what I mean. And then when we have our goals, our potential, our, ab our uh, ability to do stuff, and you see that all these can change. They're not all carved in stone. So your purpose can change. It could be bigger, better, you know your vision, your potential, your ability to do something is actually, you know, what we learn about certain things, how to do, how to produce in our system, how to follow in the steps, listen to leaders, what they have done, you know, that's, that's potential, our ability to, to do something. 
and then three and this is no particular order but the prince the second p is values principles so keys to leadership purpose potential and principles because principles produces values and um there is no other way and some people they have no principles they 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 based all the decisions made out of facts but facts can change principles are always the same and principles create values and you got to have values everyone has values some have uh you know better values and worse values but you know everyone has values those are what are driving a person their personal values so if you see someone that is exaggerating or lying or whatever you know that's that person's values not based out of out of uh, the book of success but it's still values but the keys to leadership, the three P's, purpose, potential, and principles, okay? Then we go into, so belief produces conviction. Belief produces conviction. That's why it's so important to hang around the right people because that's an attitude. An attitude is contagious. When someone believes something and someone has beliefs, that is contagious. But you got to do it yourself. You got to be the believer. You got to believe in what you're doing. And that will produce a conviction. Convictions, on the other hand, produces. Yeah, okay, hold on here. So, conviction. Belief produces conviction. Conviction produces values. We there we have them again. Conviction. So, what you what convict, you know, what you convinced of will produce your values. Can you see that it it, it happens? So, again, you have a person that that's not telling the truth and that is that person's convictions he's convinced that that is a way to success and it's not i'm telling you but and it it works both ways because if you convince that truth is also something that you're convinced of that produced this another value oops what happened okay the old sorry about that so we come back here to to uh number three number three number three values produces morals so someone's values will produce his morals why are we talking about this this is boring stuff someone thinks you know it's not it will get to the red thread here in this uh, webinar i promise you but you got to know why you're here and how to act so values produces morals morals produces discipline have we ever talked about the discipline before have we ever talked about to have victory over yourself you you the only victory you can have is over you you know you're not competing with someone else you're competing with yourself and number five discipline manifests in ethics so the belief you have or the shame reaction to everything can you see 
belief, conviction, values, morals, discipline. And discipline manifests in ethics. And the last one, ethics is character. So why am I talking about this? That's so important that you work on your character. And every time you have a win over yourself, you're building your character. So, you know, that what is character? If you don't remember from the last webinar, so you haven't been here before, character is being the same person when someone see you than when someone don't see you. So it doesn't matter. You don't play in a role. You're not in a theater group called Planet Earth. You're in life. And you will produce, uh, you will build your character, will, which will produce the good results. Okay, so this is the foundation uh, that I'm talking about. And then we come down to uh, something that we, we learned, uh, I think, last week, or maybe I mentioned it before, but it doesn't matter. So... If you want to be rich, and I'm telling you, I tried poor and I tried rich, rich is better. So it's, it's not about the money. Uh, money is a byproduct of who you are, but money makes things easier. And today money is the, the, um, uh, money is the system that we use to exchange services. So and there's different uh, kinds of money, as you know. There are digital money, you know, currency, uh, digital currency, and and crypto, and and you know, fiat, and all kinds of stuff. But there's also another way of getting rich, and that is in knowledge. And getting rich is a mindset, not a bank account. So when you have the right mindset, you're rich. And then your bank account will be bigger because the mindset that you have. And that is, of the first two slides, the keys of a leader. So why am I coming back to this all the time? Well, we all here, make it really simple. We, we're all here on these webinars because you joined a business, because you thought you saw something. Wow. I mean, I don't think... Uh, n most of you didn't see uh, uh, business and then you said to yourself, wow, this is what I'm going to do because I'm going to help people. Most of you said, this is what I'm going to do because I want to fill my bank account with a lot of money. And then someone sell this business like an investment, which is it not? Because... In an investment, you put money in and the, it will invest. It will produce money without doing nothing. This is a business. You got to do something. You got to change yourself. You can't buy a position and think that they're going to produce money for you. You got to go out and work for it. You got to do a lot of things. That's why most people stay in the lower levels of the Maslow Pyramid. And if you've been around, you know, I'm talking about this. And if you haven't heard this before, this is a guy named Maslow who came up with the meaning of life. The meaning of life is to climb up, 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 all the way up in life's struggle in the pyramid. And we all start in the bottom. And then the meaning of life is to change. The meaning of life is to get some more knowledge. It is to fill your mind with good stuff. It is to become a leader. It is to go out and work hard for it. And it is to be disciplined. Because without all those things, you will not climb the Maslow Pyramid. You will stay in the lower levels. And the people who stay in the lower levels have a tendency to be complainers and, you know, they blame everything on, on uh, other people or people, places and think, oh, it's not my fault. It was it was them. They did it to me or it was my mom or, you know, whatever. No, 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 no. Everyone gets a chance to change. Not everyone want to change or have the will to change. Like it says that the people who get all the goodies you know, uh, are the people who change. And some people, 
they they are not willing they're not willing to do anything so they will they will stay in the lower levels and com keep on complaining keep on blaming i'm saying stay out of the blame game because there's no one to blame except yourself you one one day you will discover that that is the case because like my mentor told me who was who is on the crime scene every time everything happens you he said okay so there's nothing as powerful as well my phone was on uh, uh, some uh, turn off here. So there's nothing so powerful as the human will. Wow, there's nothing so powerful on earth as the human will. It's so powerful that people can choose poverty. People can choose not to move up in the ladder of the Maslow Pyramid. People can choose not to do the right things. People can choose also to do the right things. So there's nothing as powerful as the human will. We were given, we were given the free will. And your will, it is the power to choose. So you can choose, you being on this webinar, you can choose not to do anything or what I'm talking about here. Or you can choose to say, I want to learn. I want to get this. I want to start. You know, I want to become better. I want to change. But it's up to you. So where is your will? Well, your will is in your mind. So your will is in your conscious mind. But mostly in your subconscious mind so if you want to become more that's when you will have more if you want to be successful and you want to climb those ladders and and do stuff there is where you got to change you got to change your subconscious mind because 95 percent of all your decisions 95% of all your decisions is made in your subconscious mind. So the information is loaded, downloaded in your hard drive, which is called the subconscious mind. It comes in through your conscious mind, through your senses. You see, hear, smell, and feel things. And then you get a picture in your mind, and that picture will turn into uh, a download if you repeat it, or you have an emotional involvement. So everyone is out for your mind. Never forget it. That's why you should never look at the news. Because it's all lies. You should never read newspapers. I'm not saying that you you can't read sports. The sports, you know, because the, probably most of it is is neutral, hopefully. But I've seen some bad ex examples, even in the sport pages. Anyway, so they're out for your mind. They want to control you. That's why it's bad. You, you know, let me ask you a question. Is it easier to control a person who are poor than it is to control a person who are rich? What do you think? So 95% of your decisions is made in your subconscious mind. And there's a, there's a characteristic that comes along with people who, who are not successful. And they have a tendency to dwell on the circumstances that they don't want. I've been telling you in the word of today or, you know, in my trainings that you can't think away a problem because when you start thinking about it, your subconscious will always, you know, you will download the problem in your subconscious and the subconscious can't figure out if it's right or wrong. The subconscious will only do what you tell it to. That means what you're thinking about most of the day, your philosophy. So, so when you think, and you repeat that thinking, your subconscious will go, 
okay, I will take care of that, even if it's bad for you. So you can see there's two ways. You remember um, the, the leadership winning attitude when, when, when we have the, those two arrows? You can choose to fight or flee. And to fight, to become successful, there's always involved with discipline and fighting. And to choose what information will go inside your mind. And that's why someone told us, repent. And someone goes negative on that and says, oh, you know, it's not negative. It just mean to change your thinking. To change the way you are right now. It's a positive word. You know, it means something good. So do not be conformed of the world. The world will tell you stuff, but do not be conformed of those stuff, but the renewing of your mind, the new thinking, the principles, the, the good stuff that we are talking about here on Sunday school. So, so don't make your decisions based on your feelings, because feelings lies. Feelings is a product of your thinking, not the thinking today, but your old thinking. So you can see it like a scale. If you have a scale, you know, one that when you weigh things and you lived your life, let's say you you come in, you're 30 years old and you come in contact with personal development and the stuff I'm talking about here uh, on Sunday school or, or other places. You can read it in the magazine or you can you can listen to the word of today or, you know, events or other trainings. You come in contact with personal development. You're 30 years old. So how much time have you spent put the wrong stuff inside your mind, you think? A lot. So it doesn't take an hour to change all that 30 years of thinking. No. No, of course, we all come from different backgrounds, but, but you know, uh, some have better backgrounds and some have not so good backgrounds. I'm one of the, the, the persons with not so good backgrounds. So my life became so chaotic that it was not even fun. And then when, that was when I met my mentor and said, people, you're chaos on two legs. You, you got to change almost everything, you know. Go change the way you think. And he told me you can have anything you want in life if you just change the way you think. Wow. I never heard anyone talk to me like that. That's why I'm talking to you right now. So the, the poor people make most of the decisions based on feelings, you know. Oh, I feel a little bit sad today. Oh, I feel a little bit, uh, I don't, I feel a bit worried. If you're worried and sad, where do you think that comes from? You're thinking. And if it's the old thinking, because it could be that it's downloaded a lot of worries in your subconscious mind, then you got to start having positive stuff um, downloaded. That's why you need to spend a lot of time reading, listening, be, hang around winners, hang around people who talk and walk the right things. Because it's contagious. You started getting it now? So you got to create some habits, some new habits, because the old habits, look at the scale again. You see a scale in front of you, you know, one to the left, one to the right. One, you know, one of the old ones that you put something in and you put something else on the other side and, and you weigh stuff, okay? So if, if your life is full of stuff that you don't like, your scale is tilting left, okay? With a lot of negative, then you're going to put a lot of positive stuff in on the other side of the scale to weigh it up, and that takes time. And and those are the habits that you create with what you think, what you read, and what you're listening to, will which immediately turn into what you do. So when I see people say something and do another, people without character, it's because they haven't changed yet. It was just the 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 um, it was just talk, you know. 
It was just NATO, N-A-T-O. No action, talk only. And there's a lot of those people. Those are the complainers that are staying in the lower levels in Maslow's Pyramid. Because they think it's too hard to change. They don't want to change. They don't have the will. Or they don't, they don't uh, put themselves under a program of discipline. So if we come back here and we can see that, uh, you remember I said this, and I will come into some real important things here. And that is, poor people, they have one mindset. So they based all the things out of feelings, you know. All the decisions made out of feelings instead of what? Principles. So they spend all their money because they make them feel good. You know, they eat and drink and do stuff. Oh, you know, I can do stuff now. Oh, I can buy this car. It makes me feel good. But don't base your decision based out of feelings. I'm not saying that you're not going to buy yourself a car if you want one. You are. You are going to buy a car, but you're going to do it the right way. I will come to that later. But poor people, let's spend their money and maybe invest what is left, if there is something left. So... Why Why did I start with saying that being rich is a mindset, it's not a bank account? Because you got to think right to be rich. So this is how it works. Poor people, they think, as same as rich people. And, you know, the will, the will are the strongest thing on planet earth your will you can use your will and it's a combination so someone thinks a problem occurs you know poor people get a feeling they go like oh no not again you know and they they get a new thought out of that feeling and which cr will create a result which is often bad because they haven't learned yet that what you think is what you create. So don't make your decisions based on your feelings. Because you, you will take the wrong actions which will give you the wrong results. So you got to change. You got to change. You got to change the way you think. And listen to this. How many here want to be strong in your mind, in your convictions? Strength is the product of struggle. That's why most people are not successful. Because as soon as a problem occurs, it's struggle. And they think that it's bad luck or, you know, oh, I shouldn't have started this or why did I? Or, you know, they feel sorry for themselves. Oh, you know, I have to go home to mommy. You know, strength is the product of struggle. P successful people, they do what others don't to achieve what others want. You got to be one of those guys. And when you serve other people, that's when you start the abundance process. So go back to what we've been talking about here today. We started with the leadership, the three Ps. Why do you think you need those three Ps? Why do you think you need to be a leader? It's because you got to take control of yourself because you can't give what you don't have. If you're going to lead other people, you at least got to control yourself. That's why you got the walk, the talk. A leader is not a guy, a manager that travels around telling other people what to do. That's a manager. That's management. You know, leadership is a totally uh, uh, different thing. So when you learn the principle, everything that starts abundance is serving other people. Whether you do it in time, financial, uh, education, you know, hope, inspiration, motivation, you know, you, you be responsible. Leadership is about responsibility, the ability to respond. 
Respond to what you say. Respond to problems. Do you react or do you respond? So rich people, they have another way of thinking. They take their money and invest it. It's in whatever. It could be, you know, uh, uh, real estate or, you know, something, uh, financial stuff, stocks or gold or, you know, and then they spend what is left. They don't go buy a bunch of cars the first thing they do. So they have a garage full of cars. You can have that. If that's what you want, then you have a car full of gar uh, uh, garage full of cars. So their thinking is different. They have a thought, problem occurs. They say, wow, what an opportunity. How, what kind of feeling do you get then? If you think that a problem is part of the process, they, they think different. You remember how the poor people think? They, they got a problem and go like, oh, no, not again. Rich people, successful, but they go, wow, a problem. Great. I need, I can grow. I can solve this because I'm a problem solver. That was Peter Jacobson told me on his Sunday school. And when I solve problems and I serve others, I start the abundant process. So what kind of thought, new thought you get of uh, thinking that way? Totally different thought than the other example, of course. I hope you I hope you're getting this because this is important. So your thinking is also a habit. You can you can create a positive hab habitual thinking. We actually we are we are creatures of habitual thinking, uh, but it, it's just a matter of what do you think. Have you ever thought? about what do you think most of the day that's your philosophy so your thinking is a habit and it creates your actions so when people don't take action in this industry it's not because they don't want it or they don't uh, you know they they haven't got the right support from you the leadership to tell them that you got to change. You got to be on these webinars. You got to go on Sunday school. You got to listen to the word of today. I see people when I send out, like, listen to this. I send out word of today. Okay. I know it's not the best uh, ever, but I think it's pretty good. It's uh, some thoughtful things there. And I can see who are the people who are really uh, grateful when I send them out because, you know, they get a feedback. They do a thumb up or, you know, something or a comment. Then I see other people. They start posting in the groups directly, immediately after the word of today. You know, like that is most important. And I see stuff is like just crazy stuff that, you know, will push that message away, of course. You know, so some people don't get it. Look, I, I don't care, you know. I, I don't care. It's not my problem. It's their problem. But it's two ways of thinking, you know. And if you if you really understand, you take when you take when you say, I know that. Oh, I've heard that. That's ego edging God out. That means that you will never go anywhere if you don't open your mind and say, wow, that I got to think about that. You know, that was a good thing doing that. That was a good line or that was a great idea. Or, you know, what I've learned last Sunday, I didn't get everything. But one thing I learned was that discipline, you know, to take action or, or whatever. So whatever, whoever you are, it's what you think, what you make your habits. So you got to be a server. You got to be serving the other people. That is when you climb the ladder to success because self actualization it means that you're free. You're free man. You're free man on this planet. You make your decisions. No one else make them for you. You drive the car you want to drive. You live in the house you want to live. You travel wherever you want to go. You have you have surplus. You have increase in your life.
And now I will come into this last part because this is what we, you know, uh, when back to the webinar where we didn't have any slides, this is what you missed. And I wanted to show it to you again because it's important. So back to the, the, the poor people mindset versus the rich people mindset. So you remember poor people spend all the money and they and uh, it may be invest if there's anything left rich people do the opposite but before you do anything there's here is a success formula for you guys and that is 60 30 10. what what is you talking about what is he talking about now i don't get it well so this is 100% of the money you make. And there's a formula, which means that 60, 30, 10. So for everything you make, everything, you take 10%. And you put that away somewhere where you never touch it. You never, ever touch that. So 10%, you put that in a bank account or savings account, or you, you can do it in, in an investment account, but investment is over more risk. That means that you could also lose it. So if you want to keep it, just put it away. Then the 30% is divided in three parts. So the 30% is you choose, uh, if you if you have a congregation or you're, you're a believer, you go to church, you take 10% and give it to the church. Or you choose another thing to give 10% out of the 30. Because the third is divided in three. It's, it's uh, you choose something that you give away to. You choose something to uh, invest in. So 10 is giveaway. 10 is investing, and another 10 is movable money. That means that you can have them, and you can put them in, in, uh, in short-term invest, and then you move them around, and you put them somewhere else. Then the 60% is what you spend of living, you know, housing, food, you know, if you need a car, whatever that is. Most people don't save anything. That's why they're broke. Most people don't realize that when you don't give, you will not get. So you got to give away of your money as well. It's called tithing. And it takes discipline to become rich. It takes discipline. And that's what we talk about discipline all the time in all most of the trainings. Because discipline is not feeling like it. You don't want to do it or you hate it, but you do it anyway. So don't spend it all. Use the 60, 30, 10. It's easy to remember also, you know, 60, 30, 10. You know, 10, put it away. 30, divide up in three things. And 60. You're, you don't have to listen to me this is just suggestions this is just ideas that i got from someone else so that's why getting rich is a mindset not a bank account because you got it everything starts with how you think everything starts if you want to go the extra mile if you want to do the extra then you will become extraordinary that means you are above the ordinary people. It's all about doing the extra. It's all about attending. It's all about putting time in. It's all about spending time thinking more of others than yourself. It's more about, you know, following the principles and, and creating good results and be a leader, you know, and, uh, and building your character and attending events. I don't have an event slide here today. But there's an event coming up and attend the event because, listen, guys, in the old school, 
we had a thing that we said 80% of your assaults is happening at the events. That's that was back then when you know you 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 came to this uh, wonderful happenings live with all this energy in the room. They took that away from us. You, and you can clearly see why, because they want to destroy us. So they took that away from us. That's my opinion. So, because when we come together, that's when we create miracles. That's when we create energy. That's when we create this wow, you know? So try to, to wherever you are, come together. You know, don't buy into this only technology online stuff because it's not health it's not healthy you know we it's a totally different thing to be person to person and i know i know we're in the online marketing i know we're in the technology um, century and all that and that's all fine but i'm just telling you we're human beings we need each other we need to touch and hug and look each in each other's eyes and you know we need to be there for each other and talk and and give energy and 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 be there so that's going the extra mile but now there's an event coming up make sure you have tickets so you can see the launch and all the news and all the trainings and all the all the recognition and because you need it you need it you need ideas you need to be a new person you know every day we're supposed to be new we've got to add something to our, our thinking to our life that we hadn't before that's repent that's changing the way you think Okay, guys, I hope you had a wonderful, uh, I don't know how much time this was, so it was 30 minutes or 20 or 40, but it was fun. And I liked it, you know, because when I'm sitting here talking to you guys, I'm talking to me. I'm talking to myself. That's the beauty of giving stuff away. You Then you can keep it. So, guys, have have a wonderful rest of the day afternoon morning wherever you are and be uh, you know be blessed and uh, just you know total total uh, abundance is coming your way and uh, if you do that the best of your life is the rest of your life because you're not who you think you are you are who you think you are